and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I can't believe it's already the holidays. This broadcast is going to remind us to be thankful every day for all that we have. We thank God every day for all that we have, and now we're going to listen to what our fellow broadcasts are thankful for. What are you thankful for? My parents. Okay, so Abby, today we're going to be talking about what we're thankful for. So what are you thankful for? Money. This is Millie from fourth grade, and I wanted to ask, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my school and for my family. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Zaliano Gonzalez. I was ready. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family and friends. Hi, my name is Kaylee, and I was wondering what you were thankful for. I'm thankful for my mom. Hi, I'm Zoli. I was wondering what you are thankful for. I am thankful for um, my dad and everybody that's in my house, my home and my dog. Dog and helpers all around the world and my family. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for God and my family. Justin, what are you thankful for? Uh, what are you? And uh, my mom. We wanted to say thank you to Ms. Arusha, the teachers, and all the staffs here at SES. Thank you for everything you do for us. Well, thanks everyone for sharing what they are thankful for. Let's talk. Let's talk to Father Zare about different ways we can keep God close through the holiday season. My name is Austin Crane. This is Father's Day. Thank you for coming on your day off. <laughs> You're very welcome. Um, Happy to be here. I have three precise questions for you. First question, how does being thankful make God happy? Okay, how does being thankful make God happy? Well, if we are thankful, we're being thankful to God, right? Because he's the one that gives us everything. And it's like, and so that means we're thinking about God and we're paying attention to God and we're close to God. And that makes God happy because God loves us and God wants us close to him. And, uh, and he made us for him. And so it's like, you know, we're where we're supposed to be. And, and we're becoming what he wants us to be. <laughs> Okay? Yeah. All right. Um, question two. Why did you choose to become a priest? I didn't really choose to become a priest. See, like most people, they choose to become a doctor. They choose to become a lawyer. They choose to become an electrician or a teacher, some other great job like that. You choose it, okay? But for priests and nuns, it's different. It's like God chooses you. And so you just have to say yes. And God takes care of the rest, okay? God's, it's like, you know, again, I, I'm a person that's very shy. I don't like to talk to people. I, I, I like to stay by myself. And that's not what priests do. Priests have to do something very different. And I, I couldn't do it. And, and when God says, I want you to be a priest, I went, no, because I can't do all the stuff a priest does. He says, you just say yes, I'll take care of the rest. And sure enough. And again, if this is what he calls you to, priest or none, Best job in the world. No regrets. Used to be a computer programmer, dropped it and became a priest. Never regretted it. It's insane. Yeah. And what does growing gratitude mean to you? Growing gratitude, well, that could mean like two different things, okay? For, for one thing, it could be like, well, when I was young, I was grateful for the stuff that I had, for the food I had and the, the place to live and the family and the friends and, 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 and stuff like that. I was grateful for it, but as I get older my gratitude is growing okay it's getting bigger because i realize how precious this stuff is how great it is how much god must love me to give me all this stuff because i don't earn it okay it's it's a pure gift from god and it's like the only way i can repay him is with gratitude saying thank you for this great stuff you know and then try and do what he asked me and so my gratitude is much greater now than it used to be so my gratitude is growing that's growing gratitude there okay that's one way of looking at it the other way is looking at it in looking at it is it's like okay kind of like a, a farmer grows crops okay and kind of a priest kind of grows gratitude okay so I go, I go out there and I I show God to people 
and I show, like you guys, okay, I show God to you, and I, and I explain what he's done for us, how much he loves us, the promises he has for us, and y'all's gratitude towards God gets bigger. Y'all's gratitude towards God grows, okay, so I'm kind of I'm kind of growing gratitude in you guys by showing you who God is and, and, and how much he loves you and what he's done for you. So it could be either one of those, or both of them. It doesn't have to be either or, it can be both and. So it's both the gratitude that is growing in me and the gratitude that I am growing in you. Okay? <laughs>